This isn't what you think it is. I can see my house from here! We have a lot to thank evolution for. Bacteria that help us digest food. Solvent mucus that lets us smell pleasant things. Skin. But we can't help being just a little resentful of the ways that evolution has done us earthlings wrong, animal and human alike. Ah. Sloths have to live a seemingly lazy lifestyle because their metabolism is so slow. Yes, a sloth stomach may be its most um, slovenly feature. They can take an entire month to digest one meal. Sloths have a low body temperature, but if they get too cool, their gut bacteria will stop working. That means that even if a sloth just ate enough food to fill its belly for a month, it could starve to death if it gets too chilly because the food would just sit there undigested. Slugs are hermaphrodites, meaning they have both male and female sexual reproductive organs. In some ways, it's an adaptation that makes life easy. Everyone can breed with everyone. But in the case of banana slugs, it can get a little weird. When banana slugs mate, they both insert their penises into each other. But when they're done, sometimes one or both simultaneously will chew the other's penis off. Why? Excellent question. Slugs do bite each other as part of their mating ritual, but this goes beyond kink. Some researchers think they just get stuck, or that it's a competitive behavior to prevent their partner from impregnating other slugs. And no, the penis doesn't seem to grow back. But good news, everyone. They can still use their female reproductive organs and carry on. She got so upset, she ran out of the building and a street sweeper ran over her foot and severed her pinky toe. Humans do not need their pinky toes. Without them, you could walk, you could run, could probably be a prima ballerina. I told the driver, I got a toe here, buddy, step on it. In a study published in the Journal of Bone and Joint Surgery, 160 subjects all put the least amount of pressure on their pinky toes while walking and standing. Their big toes withstood three times as much pressure. However, we do use the metatarsal bone that connects the pinky toe to our ankle. Without it, our feet couldn't properly distribute our weight and we might not be able to stand upright. You did all this for a pinky toe? Well, it's a valuable appendage. Tyrannosaurus Rex wasn't a dinosaur to be trifled with. It had four foot long jaws filled with serrated teeth, but almost as if nature were trying to even the odds for its prey, T-Rex's arms were so tiny that it couldn't use them to grab stuff, let alone put food in its mouth. And T-Rex only had two fingers on each hand, and most dinosaurs had three, which makes grabbing a lot easier. Evolution might have slowly been phasing out T-Rex's arms, relying on the animal's strong jaw to pick up and tear prey. Some researchers propose that if the dinosaur had stuck around another million years or so, those arms would have adapted right into oblivion. One little thing, we're technically uncomfortable calling any adaptation bad. The fact that animals developed and kept these traits implies that the benefits, no matter how invisible, outweigh the costs, no matter how inconvenient or yicky. So what's your favorite ridiculous or ridiculously awesome evolutionary adaptation? Let us know in the comments. While you're there, hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe so you won't miss the next one. And to learn more, like how horrifying hyena's birth canals are, check out our article, 10 Worst Adaptations in the Animal Kingdom at HowStuffWorks.com. I'm the one who...